Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into some of the most notable events related to Alberta, Canada. Now I know what you're thinking. Alberta? Isn't that where all the... well... Yes, and also so much more. We're going to explore a fascinating mix of political milestones and sports highlights, proving that Alberta is more than just... well, we'll get to that. From pipeline politics that could make or break a province to the roar of the crowd at a crucial football match, we're going to uncover the stories that make Alberta tick. Because believe it or not, beneath the vast expanse of stuff, there's actual news happening. And frankly, some of it's surprisingly compelling. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on a whirlwind tour of Alberta a place that might just surprise you. Unless you live there, in which case, you're probably already aware of all this. But humour us. Let's get started. So, let's talk about this confidence vote. Confidence votes are inherently dramatic. It's like a political version of, are you there, God? It's me, Margaret except politicians are praying for their jobs. In Alberta, a confidence vote is less a gentle tap and more a WWE smackdown. This particular vote was no exception. It had all the ingredients of a primetime political drama high stakes, simmering tensions and backroom deals. And Alberta, bless its heart, was right in the thick of it. Because when Canada has a political crisis, Alberta is always invited. Alberta's reaction? Opinions were varied. Some were cheering, some were booing, and some were just wondering when the Calgary Flames were playing next. Because sometimes hockey is more appealing than federal politics. The impact of this vote rippled across the country. It was a big deal. And Alberta, being politically engaged, had a lot to say mostly yelling, if we're being honest. The nuances of the vote are mind-numbing. Procedural jargon, parliamentary manoeuvring, and enough acronyms to make your head spin. It's the kind of thing that makes you want a strong drink. Amidst all the political theater, there was genuine uncertainty. Would the government survive? Would Alberta descend into chaos? These were the questions on everyone's minds. And the answer is, complicated. Because politics is never simple, especially in Canada, and especially in Alberta, where everything is amplified. So, while the rest of the country was trying to decipher the political tea leaves, Alberta was brewing its own special blend of something. Now, let's talk pipelines, specifically the epic crude pipeline. Because in Alberta, pipelines are kind of a big deal. They're like the circulatory system of the province's economy, pumping the lifeblood of oil to the rest of the world. It's a complicated relationship, to say the least. The epic pipeline commitments are, well, epic. They're big, bold, and potentially game-changing for Alberta. They represent a massive investment in the province's energy sector, and a whole lot of hope for a brighter economic future. Or, depending on who you ask, a looming environmental disaster. These commitments aren't just about moving oil. They're about jobs, about investment, and about the future of Alberta's economy. They're the kind of promises that politicians love to make because they sound impressive and make everyone feel good, at least for a little while. But pipelines are also incredibly controversial. They're a flashpoint in the debate over climate change and a source of ongoing tension between industry and environmentalists. It's a battle of epic proportions, pun intended. The implications of these commitments extend far beyond Alberta's borders. They impact the entire Canadian energy sector and have the potential to reshape the global energy landscape. It's a big deal, folks. A really, really big deal. 
But with any large-scale project, there are risks. Environmental concerns, economic uncertainties, and the ever-present threat of political interference all loom large. It's like navigating a minefield blindfolded while juggling chainsaws. So, what does all this mean for Alberta? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? The answer, as always, is complicated and probably depends on who you ask. On the one hand, the EPIC pipeline promises hold the potential for significant economic benefits. Jobs, investment and a boost to the province's GDP are all tantalising prospects. It's the kind of thing that makes politicians do a little jig. But on the other hand, there are legitimate concerns about the environmental impact of the project. Chapter 3 – Liverpool's Alberta Admiration All right, let's move on from the dreary world of politics and pipelines to something a little more uplifting. Sports, specifically Liverpool football. Because even in Alberta, where hockey reigns supreme, there's a surprising amount of love for the beautiful game. Liverpool's recent performance against West Ham was, in a word, dominant. They controlled the game from start to finish, displaying the kind of attacking prowess that has made them one of the most feared teams in the world. It was a masterclass in football and a joy to watch. Unless, of course, you're a West Ham fan. In which case, it was probably quite depressing. The key moments of the match were plentiful. From stunning goals to brilliant saves, there was enough excitement to keep even the most jaded fan on the edge of their seat. It was the kind of game that makes you jump out of your chair and yell at the television, much to the annoyance of your neighbours. The excitement for Liverpool among Alberta's sports fans is palpable. While hockey might be the province's first love, there's a growing appreciation for the global appeal of football. And Liverpool, with their thrilling style of play, have captured the hearts of many Albertans. The match against West Ham was a testament to Liverpool's quality. They were relentless in attack, creating chance after chance and ultimately putting their opponents to the sword. It was a performance that showcased their skill, their determination and their unwavering commitment to winning. For Alberta's Liverpool supporters, the match was a cause for celebration. It was a chance to revel in the team's success, to share their passion with fellow fans, and to momentarily forget about the harsh realities of Canadian winters. The atmosphere surrounding the game was electric. Pubs were packed, social media was buzzing, and the collective roar of Alberta's Liverpool fans could probably be heard all the way across the Atlantic. The victory over West Ham was more than just three points. It was a statement of intent, a demonstration of Liverpool's dominance, and a reminder of why so many people around the world, including in Alberta, are captivated by this sport. The performance of individual players was also noteworthy. Chapter 4 – Ericsson's Alberta Echo Let's talk about a football match that captured Alberta's sports fans Manchester United versus 20. It was a nail-biter with plenty of drama to keep everyone on the edge of their seats. Christian Ericsson's performance was inspiring. He was the heart and soul of Manchester United, creating chances and leading by example. The match unfolded like a Hollywood script. There were twists, turns and enough near misses to make your heart skip a beat. The reactions from fans in Alberta were a mix of elation and despair. Ericsson's impact on the game was undeniable. The match against 20 was a reminder of the unpredictable nature of football. For Alberta's Manchester United supporters, the match was an emotional roller coaster. Pubs were packed, social media was buzzing, 
and the collective groans and cheers of Alberta's football fans could probably be heard all the way to Old Trafford. The match against 20 was a test of character for both teams. Thanks for watching. We've journeyed through the political landscape, explored the energy sector, and witnessed the thrill of sports in Alberta. From confidence boats to pipelines to football, it's been quite a ride. And hopefully you've learned a thing or two about this often overlooked province. If you enjoyed this somewhat chaotic, yet hopefully informative look at Alberta, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on notable events and news. Because let's be honest, the world needs more Alberta content. Or maybe less. We're still figuring that out. See you next time. Hopefully, with slightly less political turmoil and slightly more exciting football matches. But hey, who knows 